Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will learn how to do textures. Texture is an image that can be displayed on the screen with OpenGL. So in the last video I made a mistake with this area of the code. Now GLFW destroy window does destroy the window but it also leaves a problem. We don't break out of the loop. So a quick and simple fix for this you can do is break, which will break out of the loop. Or instead of using GLFW destroy window, you can do GLFW should or not should set window should close. And this is going to take in win and GL true or you can put in one because that's what GL true is. So now that we fix that, let's see if it works real fast. And it does. So for the tutorial, I have created a simple texture. I created a nice little smiley face for the video. And I also created a folder within our project called res and that is where I saved the image into. You don't have to use res, you can use resources, you can do textures, you can call it essentially whatever you want. You just need to know the name of the folder. So to get started with textures, I'm going to create a new class called texture. This class is going to hold in a few variables and it's going to hold in int id width and height keep in mind that they're all ints so our texture class is also going to take in a parameter of string file name this is going to link us to our file so now i'm just going to create a buffered image, we'll call it by, and we'll use a try clause, try catch, try and catch clause. And we're going to catch an IO exception because we're reading a file here and we'll need that. So by is going to be equal to image IO dot read new file and we'll do file name. Now we can set width to by dot get width and height is going to equal to by dot get height. So oops that's it for the width and height. Now we can create a variable and this is going to be an int array I'll call it pixels raw and this is going to equal to a new int array of width times height times four width and height being the parameters for the image the size of the image and this is going to multiply it by four with the component the red blue red green blue and alpha now all we got to do is just set it. So we can do pixels raw equals by dot get RGB zero for start X zero for start Y for the width for W we'll put width H is going to be height and the array is going to be set to null. Offset's going to be zero and scan size is going to be width. So that's it for getting the pixels and now all we have to do is create a byte buffer I'm gonna call this pixels and I'm going to set it to buffer utils dot create byte buffer and it's going to be width times height times four So 
So now that we have done this, all we got to do now is 4 int i equals 0. And then we will do i plus, no, sorry, i is less than width, and then i plus plus. All right, we'll do another one for the height. So that's going to be int j equals 0, j is less than height, and j plus plus. Now we're going to create a variable up here, and I'm going to call the int a pixel. And that's going to be set to pixels, oops, sorry, forgot equals, equals pixels at i times width plus 4. Oh, my bad. Pixels raw. <laughs> okay. So, now all we have to do is put pixels dot put and we got to cast this to a byte. So, a byte and we'll do pixel and shift that over. by 16 sorry shift that over by 16 and no let's write the first time 16 and 0 0 x f f we'll put all that in parentheses as well oops that shouldn't be a 4 that should be j my bad. So now we can copy this and paste it about three more times. And each time it's going to be 8, 0, and 24. Heck, for this one, you don't even need to shift it over since we're doing, we're not even doing shifting. It can just be that. So this is going to get the red. It's going to get the green. This is going to get blue. And this is going to get alpha. Okay. So, OpenGL doesn't like the buffer just plain. It's going to want a flip buffer it's weird OpenGL wants it like that I'm not sure exactly why it it just wants it so now after we have flipped our buffer we are going to generate the ID so before we can do that we have to import static org lwjgl and gl11 you can copy the import from here if you wish from the main now the id is going to equal to gl gen textures And so after we do this, we'll do gl bind texture to gl texture 2d. And we'll bind it with id. So now we're going to set a few parameters. So we're going to have the function gl text parameter f. And the first one, of course, G, well, you probably don't know, but it's going to be GL texture 2D. And the next one will be GL texture min filter. And here you can use T 
two different variables. You can use either GL nearest or GL linear. GL linear. So I'm just going to do GL nearest because it gives a more sharp texture. You can go ahead and copy this and change GL texture min filter to mag filter. Just GL texture mag filter. So now we have these set. Now we can do GL image or GL text image, sorry, text image to D. And the target is going to be GL texture 2D. I think we set this to zero and the internal format will be GL RGBA. The width will be width, height will be height. Border will set that to zero since we don't need a border. The format will be GL RGBA, oh, GL RGBA. And the type, GL byte. And the pixels is just pixels. Exactly that. So now that we're done with the image, we can do a new method and we'll do public void bind. So that way we can bind our image. And we'll just do gl bind texture, gl texture 2d id. And we are finished with the texture class. So now we can come back here and create a new texture under GL create capabilities. You will have errors if you create the texture above this line of code because we don't have a context. So OpenGL does not like creating things without a context. So now we can create our texture. And the location will be dot slash res and our test PNG. Now all we have to do is before geo begin, we can do text dot bind. And here we'll get rid of our color. Get rid of these variables too, because we don't need them. And we'll do GL text cord. No. Texture text cord to F. Yeah. Zero and zero for there. And then here we'll do zero one. We'll do one and one and one and zero. And now if we run it, we should get white. What's going on here? Well, OpenGL is quite silly. And what we need to do is GL enable GL texture 2D. Yes, we have to enable that. And there is our weird texture. Now I must have had the coordinates wrong because it's rendering sideways. So that's top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. I'll try switching these variables right here, see if that does anything. And there we go. Now for some reason white is transparent. That might be because of this. This probably should be RGB. No? 
Yeah, let me, let me uh figure something out real fast. Okay, I think I have found the problem. So we can go ahead and leave this at RGBA. And the byte over here needs to be unsigned. It needs to be GL unsigned byte. And now we have a working texture. So, GL unsigned byte. In the next video, we'll be leaving this behind and going for a more modern approach. We'll be going over vertex buffer objects to render our vertices. So no longer are we going to be using geo begin quads and all this. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.